tell me when you're out ready. Okay. I'm gonna try to muster one. Nice. Awesome. Hi everyone, this is Jeremy. Just want to show you the song Love Goes On from Hillsong Young and Free. And so it's in the key of E and it's 75 beats per minute. It's not much of an acoustic song, but you definitely can uh, play it with it. So uh, in the recording, there's not, I don't even think there is an acoustic guitar playing. If it is, it's very hidden. Uh, but what I've decided to do is kind of join the bass line in the intro and the verses. And then in the pre-course, chorus and instrumentals, uh, I play normal chords and I'll show you that after. So we'll start with the intro. So we're just playing an A, which is an open A. Uh, on the 5th string, all the way on the 5th string again up to the 4th fret, the C sharp minor. And I'm playing it with the ring finger because then right after, right underneath, I'm playing the F sharp, which is here on the 4th uh, string and 4th fret. And then I'm going to an open E, which is on the 6th string. And then I'm going to the B, which is right here. Uh, fifth string, second fret. So the rhythm goes like this. Uh, so may, I'll, I can just slow that rhythm down for you a little bit. I'm doing all down picking and then uh, I think it just creates a consistent sound. So uh, the rhythm if you slow it down is Make sure you get those mutes and the pauses in there because that really adds to um, just the overall sound and the tightness of that song and what's happening <coughs> excuse me with the hi-hat as well <coughs> excuse me so um, so you do that through the verse and then you do also do that through um, or intro and verse and then the pre-chorus you're just playing a normal A2 and I'm actually playing it with ring finger and pinky so you're just on the second fret there and you're on the third and fourth strings. Sounds like that, you're not playing the, the open E, just the first five strings. And then you take that form, slide this up two frets, so all of a sudden now you're on, uh, on the fourth fret, and then you add the B here on the um, second fret, fifth string, and you also play all strings except for the sixth. And you're also playing these first two open, so it sounds like this. Uh, that's the pre-course, it goes Your love goes on Your love goes on um, And then it goes right into the chorus uh, which you're also playing the A and then it goes to an E up to a B and then the C sharp that I'm playing is a little bit different I'm actually just taking and putting my ring finger here on the C sharp, uh, fifth string, fourth fret, and then I'm adding the, the E down here on the second. I'm using my pointer and I'm, it's the fourth string and second fret. And then just pinky right underneath here, fourth fret on the third string. And I play these bottom first two open. So that's your C sharp minor. And also just a note, once in a while, I'll play an A by just taking, keeping this form on, just taking the ring finger off, and then, um, that's just another version of A, so I'll switch them up between this and this sometimes. So, um, those are the chords there. Uh, so I'll just, I'll just run you through uh, pre-chorus and chorus. So it goes, your love goes on, two, three, four, your love, you're on an A. And 
it goes right into that rhythm for the intro or if you come out of that it goes right into the instrumental so I just want to show you with the instrumental I changed the chording a little bit I think this the uh, different C sharp minor sounds better uh, and in addition to an E and a different B so it goes C sharp minor so what I'm doing here, I'm playing now with the pointer, I'm playing the C sharp minor here on the uh, fifth string, fourth fret, and then I'm going up to the seventh fret, and I'm playing with ring finger and pinky, I'm playing the um, on the third and fourth string, so it sounds like this. And then I'm adding the middle finger here on the sixth fret and the second string, and then, so this, and then the first string is open. And you don't play that E string. And then the A is just that normal A2. You can play this E down here, or I'm actually taking that B shape, going all the way up to, uh, where are we at here? This is four, five, six, seven. So I'm at the seventh fret here. And you can play the E. Uh, e with the pointer, fifth string, seventh, fr seventh fret. And then you can go up to the ninth uh, fret with the third and fourth string, and you're playing with ring finger and pinky. Just ring that nice and open, you're not barring it here. And then the B that I play, I go straight up here, and so I'm now on uh, the sixth string, playing the B um, on the seventh fret, and then in addition, I'm also playing on the ninth fret, ring finger and pinky again with the fourth and fifth string. So, and then I add this middle finger right in, um, Add the middle finger on the eighth fret and the what is this? This is the third string. So it sounds like this. Kind of sounds weird on its own, but it, trust me, it works all together. So go C sharp minor to the A. Here's the low E. So you just got to build that with the band. Um, you don't have to come right off the start. When you hit the instrumental, I'd either do open chords like that, whole notes, or not play at all. And then as you start to build, you can go in there. So it would sound like this. Love And the song goes all over the place, does all sorts of different things, but those are the basics to it, so thanks for watching.